cineva s-a înmenit. She was a brave young woman. She dared to defy the Iranian regime. And suddenly the morality police take her away because a strand of hair is showing and she dies three days later. Gina Masa Amini's death in custody last year sparked protests that shook cities across Iran and galvanized a movement called Women, Life, Freedom. That's why the EPP group calls for the European Parliament to award its Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought to the Kurdish Iranian woman and to all Iranian women. She dared to defy the Iranian regime by showing her hair in public, and for this they murdered her. Her courage lit a spark in Iran and beyond, a spark of hope for millions suffering and oppression. On streets across the nation, including in, in schools and in universities, Gina Mashamini, that's what we call her because that's her Kurdish name, and we should call her what our family called her. Women, life, freedom, and just appalling that a young woman's life could be interrupted in this way, that she actually died. And what was extraordinary was the response to it all around the world. The Zakharov Prize has a big visibility worldwide. And this will give the Iranian opposition strength by giving the prize to Masa Amini and the Iranian woman, we give them also the power we can give them as European Parliament. If she gets the prize posthumously, it's not only for her, but it is indeed for all women and men who support this cause of freedom in the country. They will be encouraged to continue their just cause. And as for other Sakharov Prizes, it is aimed at supporting other movements globally. It's named after the Soviet dissident and physicist Andrei Sakharov, who won the Nobel Peace Prize as a human rights activist. The EPP group really wants to give the Sakharov Prize to Masha Amini because we feel that she's symbolic of women in Iran particularly, but of course all over the world, who are oppressed, suppressed, who don't have life who don't have freedom. We in, in the EPP group have successfully nominated many recent winners like Alexei Navalny, the democratic opposition in Venezuela and in Belarus, and naturally of course the brave people of the Ukraine. So the Sakharov Prize galvanizes action and it inspires change. For the EPP this fight for freedom is really important. We, we highlight this because it's really at the heart of the Zakharov Prize, but also of our group.